we have several questions that we uh, that that, have, uh, that are that are in the queue, and we'll try to get uh, to a couple of those. Um, we we need to get off. Uh, we don't have too much time remaining here. First question, and I'll address this to Jeff if he's still there. Um, Jeff, any thoughts about the feasibility of small farm manure digesters? Uh, sure, there there are definitely opportunities uh, with the these these small digesters. I think that there are definitely some things that we we can look at. Uh, the the big issue is going to come down to you know what what uh, what are the goals of of the landowner. Also, what are the costs that are associated with that? What what we're finding is that that many times the the um, the, the cost per unit of animal is is definitely an, an, an issue there. So we would have to see, you know, what, what what's going to be the what are the goals, what are the costs, what what are the things that they're going to be doing with that. But but yes, we're definitely thinking about using some of those other uh, you know, anaerobic digesters for small operations. I know they're used many places around the country, so I, I definitely see that there are uh, some opportunities that we can do with that. Okay, thank you. Question. I'll, I'll address it to Tommy. Tommy, for small farms, do you have any thoughts about buying equipment at auctions or, or on eBay or Craigslist? Can that be done? So some of my examples came from each of those types of outlets. Um, eBay, Craigslist, and uh, auctions that posted um, posted their sales ahead of time, um, meaning like live local auctions. Uh, I just, you know, would recommend that people uh, use the same sorts of best practices for buying anything used. Um, you know, if, if we're working with clients uh, who are managing a small farm and, and thinking about these pieces of equipment, you know, we could help them think through what they're looking for uh, first, um, you know, maybe help them with the due diligence on seeing what the market is bearing for costs. And then uh, that's where you're going to find this stuff. So, um you know, that's where it's going to be, uh, local newspaper, the traditional classifieds, uh, buying used will save you some money, and, and those are all legitimate traditional sources. Okay. Uh, Tommy, a follow-up on that. Someone asked about uh, uh, buying um, uh, used equipment versus, um, versus new equipment that's maybe not quite as robust or durable. Some of this. Point. Yeah, and the context there being some of those um, – very small, not the toys, not my jokes at the end, but uh, some of that really small functional equipment, um, is it as durable? You know, it really comes down to what you're trying to uh, to do with it and, and sort of the limitations of uh, the, the size of your operation. Um, I would say that the small end of sort of normal farm scale equipment, uh, you know, can be more durable, but those little uh, compact tractors especially from reputable brands are really tough um, and they can do, they can do a lot of work. Um, you know, some of those very small spreaders that you tow behind an ATV, you know, that might just be more appropriate for a recreational horse operation with two horses and you're almost doing a daily haul um, from the confinement or stall area with that light duty equipment. So I would say uh, less that this is a, consideration, uh, you know, that, that should be made. So, you know, the good extension answer is it depends, but I think you're onto something there. Thank you. And, and a last question about a, a, a digester again. Um, um, and I think we might save this to, for somebody to, to, who's more familiar with this to, to, uh, to uh, answer this about some specific types of digesters that might be used on, on, on small farms. I have a little bit of experience of, um, producer in our state a number of years ago tried to uh, use a small digester with um, with uh, with horsemen or it was kind of a pilot project and and found that if they were using uh, certain kinds of bedding they couldn't the digester would not work at all um, it had to be uh, proper bedding sources or, or they couldn't get any it would work so 